Hey, Ray Delvecchio here from WebsiteProfitCourse.com. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to install WordPress on HostGator. HostGator is one of the most affordable hosting companies around. They've been in business since 2002, and I've been a loyal customer for over a decade after using a couple smaller companies that just weren't as good. So I don't want you to procrastinate or wait any longer. And I will click the Get Started button here on HostGator's homepage. They have three main options the Hatchling plan, the Baby plan, and the Business plan. And if you're creating one website, I recommend you go for the Hatchling plan. And if you want to create multiple websites, go for the Baby plan. You can always upgrade later. For now, I'm going to start with the Hatchling plan. You can see here that they give you one year of free domain registration. If you already have your domain with another provider, you can just click this tab up here. And then once you get set up, you'll just have to update HostGator settings within your domain provider. If you register your domain, they're going to be linked together automatically. So it's a little bit easier. It's one less step. And we can go through this page. There's one other thing with registering a domain, and that is domain privacy. Sometimes companies or marketers can get access to your contact information through your domain name. So if you don't want that to occur, you can just add on this domain privacy for $14.95 a year. If you'd like to uncheck it and you know you want to you want to live dangerously and save a little bit of money, you can uncheck it, but I'll leave it selected for now. In step two, we already have the hatchling plan selected and we just got to choose our term. You can go month to month if you'd like, but obviously the longer the term, you're going to get the better deal. And I recommend going for the longest term you can afford. And I think a good middle ground is one year. So that's what I'll select here. In section three, this is where you're going to create your account. And I already have an account. That's why you can see they have my credit card on file. So you'll just have to fill out your information and you can either use a credit card or pay with PayPal. In section four, there's additional services that you can add on. And I recommend you just uncheck all of these because you can do a lot with WordPress plugins. You don't need to set this up from the get-go. And if you want to get the best price, obviously you don't want to add anything else on besides the domain and the hosting. In section five, this is where you can enter a coupon code and you might see a coupon code in here by default. If you'd like to support my channel and my website, I really appreciate if you use my coupon code WPC1. That allows me to create free tutorials like this along with the WordPress training that I'll talk about at the end of the video. And if we review our order here, you can see that the subtotal is 140 bucks and we're getting a $78 discount with our grand total being under $65 to get set up for the entire year. And the last step is clicking that checkbox and hitting the checkout now button. And the payment's completed and they're just setting up our account right now. We should get forwarded to our HostGator account portal. And there we go. We can see that our order's completed and then this is where we can manage anything that we purchase within HostGator whether it's hosting, any add-ons in the marketplace or email. You can manage your domains here if you just have domain names with no hosting and then edit your billing. And last but not least, if you have any issues along the way, go ahead and contact their support. So let's click this button here and view our dashboard. And we got our hosting package here with the options to manage it. If you go to cPanel, you'll see more options, but these are the most widely used ones, which is email accounts, databases, file manager, and the one that we want is install WordPress. This brings us to the WordPress installation page and we can hit the install now button. You wanna make sure you do this under a secure protocol, HTTPS, and then you can choose whether or not you want the www or not. I usually leave it off just to keep the domain short. We pick our domain here if you have multiple domains and then you can install WordPress in a subdirectory if you like, but I'd say 90 to 95% of the time, your best bet is to do it on the top level directory. And you wanna make sure you have the latest version of WordPress installed. Here you can see I got an error message or a warning that says our SSL certificate was not found. That's what's needed to run HTTPS. And it may take a little bit of time for that to provision. It doesn't always happen immediately. And these are the WordPress specific details here. This is where you can name your site, add a site description, and then pick your admin username. And I recommend that you change this from admin. Make sure you save your password. I use a password manager like LastPass. And you wanna make sure you have an active email address. Down here they give you the language. Usually I like to delete all the plugins because sometimes it comes pre-installed. I do recommend this one, Limit Login Attempts. I use it on some of my client sites. That'll just let you know if people are trying to hack into your site by logging in. If we click on the advanced options here, this is just giving us our database information and we really don't need to worry about that or change anything there. And lastly, you can pick your theme. 
this is the great part about WordPress that you have thousands and thousands of themes to choose from or if you're more of a creative person you can use a drag and drop theme builder. The one that I recommend is Divi and I'll link that in the description below. But for now we're just going to use the default WordPress theme and what I'm hoping to do throughout the next couple of weeks and months is create short tutorials building templates in a couple different niches maybe like a portfolio website, a standard blog, a business website. Create something really nice looking for each one of those. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get those videos and if you have recommendations for the type of website that you're going to build, let me know in the comments below. So I'll hit select theme here, click yes on this image copyright message, and then you can also email your username and password and other installation details if you like. I'll include a copy to the admin address I set above, and then we'll hit the install button and hopefully everything works here. And we got our congratulations message along with the URLs that we can access our new WordPress website along with a login screen to edit our website. So let's check it out. Let's go to our homepage and we'll log into WordPress as well. And you can see here that I have this connection is not private warning message because we don't have our SSL certificate installed yet. I'm back here just about five to 10 minutes later and our SSL certificate is installed. I refreshed my page because I got an error on before. And here's our WordPress website. Obviously it's very basic. We have no content in there. And if I go to the next tab, this is our WordPress dashboard. So like I mentioned before, the first thing I normally do is go to the plugin section because you got a lot of stuff on your screen here. I just uninstall all the unwanted plugins. It can get a little bit bloated. So I like doing them one by one once you know exactly what features you need. So I'm gonna select them all here. The two that I'm gonna keep are Loginizer. This is that one that limits the login attempts and Yoast SEO, which I recommend you keep so you can get found a little bit easier in Google. That plugin lets you optimize posts and pages with keywords. So let's deactivate these and then we can delete them. And that should clean up our dashboard and our screen there. You won't see any of these, you know, pop up messages from all these plugins. And I want to do the same thing. Like I said, I want to delete them first. You got to deactivate them before you can delete them. And I will delete these plugins. And we'll be left with a nice clean installation. If you'd like to browse themes now, go over to the appearance theme section. This is where you'll see the 2021 theme installed. This already comes installed with the two older WordPress default themes, along with one called Sinatra. And then if you want to browse themes, you can just click the Add New button. Go through the most popular, the latest themes, favorite themes. I think it's a good idea to spend some time with the default WordPress settings. Get a feel for how WordPress works, and then you can always change your theme later. There you have it. You should have WordPress now installed on your HostGator account. If you'd like to sign up right now, visit the link in my description below, websiteprofitcourse.com slash HostGator. That will get you started. And like I said, I'm an affiliate for HostGator, so that helps support my channel. I love creating these free tutorials to help you. If you're a beginner with WordPress, I have two free training series for you. The first is a big picture overview of WordPress. I'll give you a much more in-depth tour of the dashboard and the admin area that we were just looking at. To get that, go to websiteprofitcourse.com slash WP101. And if you're looking to use WordPress for a personal blog, you'll learn what it takes to make money online with your blog and how to market it. So if you'd like to check that out, go to 14dayblog.com. All the links will be in the description below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to get more WordPress videos in the future, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And please let me know in the comments below what kind of website you're building. I'd love it if you could help me out to understand what you're using WordPress for. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this and I want you to take action now. Thanks a lot and I hope you have a great day.